and I am back with another tutorial and for this look I wanted to show you guys how to achieve a flawless lightweight full face using cream makeup now I posted a video well not a video a picture on Instagram a couple weeks ago and you guys loved loved the makeup so I decided to recreate something similar and of course I threw in a wearable nude glitter lip just to spice things up a bit I went with a super simple eye it literally only took me like five minutes to do this eye I'm using max paint pot in Indian wood as my base going into my pixie plus its Judy time palette I'm taking the shade it's mommy's life to buff out any harsh edges and add some slight definition to my crease and then on top of the paint pot I'm taking the shade bubbly and just packing that on I'm skipping liquid liner to keep the eyes pretty soft so instead I am mixing the shades all snap and night night and just smudging them into my lash line and this will help to hide the lash band when I do my false lashes and that is it for the eyes guys super easy and quick I just threw a little bit of white pencil or like a nude pencil in my waterline and that literally was it so moving on to the skin i'm prepping with tarte's brighter days highlighting moisturizer and i'm just evening out my skin with max water weight foundation and a few drops of max luster drops in sunrush luster drops have been discontinued but there are so many illuminating liquids out now you can try cover effects i know for a fact they had them i don't really know other brands that had them but i definitely no cover effects so check them out if you can't get your hands on luster drops or if you don't have luster drops your base is going to set the tone for how your cream makeup will last on the skin so if you have normal to dry skin this type of foundation combo will work perfectly for you but if you have more of a combination oily skin I suggest using more long-lasting foundation with a matte finish the key to flawless cream makeup application is working in very thin layers and also correcting and perfecting the skin instead of just putting a whole bunch of makeup on top. So to color correct, I'm using Sephora's Pantone and Cream Concealer Palette in the shade Light Medium and I'm applying the Medium Peach Correcting Shade to neutralize my dark circles. I'm going to take a mix of two concealers in the palette to highlight my face and I'm just buffing it out with a damp sponge. Now to prevent creasing, I used a bit of translucent powder just under my eyes, but left the rest of my face unset for the rest of the cream product so that it wouldn't get patchy. For contour, I'm using one of my absolute favorite cream contouring products and it's MAC's Cream Color Base in Mid-Tone Sepia. These are so multi-purpose. You can use them on the eyes, you can use them on the lips, you can use them on the skin, obviously. And I really love to contour with this because it's the perfect mix of warm and neutral so it isn't too orangey but it isn't too gray either and I'm just buffing this out as well with a damp sponge
After I've blended that out, I'm going in with another cream color base in the shade Bamboo, and this is going to be my blush shade. Very soft, very natural glow. I wanted something super subtle, so this worked out perfectly. I'm just setting a little bit with my bronzer just to absorb some of the excess moisture without making it look too harsh. For highlight, I'm using two more of MAC's cream color bases in the shades Improper Copper and Shell. I just mix those together and I'm using my finger to tap them on the cheekbone. This is gonna give you a very, very subtle highlight. But you guys know I get a little crazy with my glow. So I'm using the bronze and light champagne shades from the Sephora Illumination palette to intensify my highlight. Now my favorite part of the look was the nude pink glitter lip. Who knew that it could be so wearable? I did this on a whim and I absolutely loved it. I started out with Max new glitter lipstick in pale rose and just quickly lined my lips with Nika K's nude lip pencil just to give my lip a little bit more definition. Then I topped it with a soft pink cosmetic grade glitter. You guys keep asking me where I get my glitters from and I got them years ago from either Amazon or eBay. I can't remember which one, so sorry. Like I just, I just don't know. But you can search Amazon and eBay. They have a bunch of sellers that sell cosmetic grade glitters. This is the final look guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I loved the way that this look came out. So this is something that I will do if I know I'm going somewhere and I won't be out for long but I do need a full face of makeup on and it needs to be a little bit more subtle this is definitely a look that I go for minus the glitter lip of course so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please rate it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and until my next video I'll talk to you guys later bye